I have a bookshelf now. I know, it doesn't count as math. I mean, hey, geometry, but the shelves, the, they're perpendicular. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Truth is, I'm just really exhausted. There are a few gaps uh, between some of the books on on a couple of the shelves and it got me thinking oh this is a math problem this reminds me a lot of the simple addition problems i mean not addition division problems that i did on khan academy but but it is not simple because all of my books are different widths this has to be an optimization problem i wonder if this is one of those like np hard or NP complete problems. I don't really understand anything about that. All I know is there are different classes of problems. Things like scheduling when airplanes fly and shifts for nurses and and packing, you know, packing things. I play this game every time I move to a new apartment, tr trying to pack as many of my things into my car as possible to make the least amount of trips. And you know, you never get it perfect, but you, you, you get pretty close. So this is a problem like that, but I guess in just one dimension, width of the books and width of the shelves. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six shelves and a few books left over. And so I wonder like, how did, how did, I had hardly slept last night. I stayed out way too late after that party. So my plans for this morning, I think I'm gonna have to just forget about them for a while and go back to bed for a bit. Hope you're having a good weekend. And if you know anything about this kind of packing problem, um, if there's an explain like I'm five version, that would be great because I tried looking it up online and everything I found was like an academic paper in computer science or something and I did not understand any of it. If there was like a version with simple drawings, maybe a cartoon, that would be great. So let me know. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.